on the HTB-4 cargo ship that was captured uh, just uh, under four hours ago by Karen Nyberg operating the station's robotic arm and uh, the common berthing mechanism on the Earth-facing port of the Harmony module. We still think it'll be uh, about 10 more minutes, uh, perhaps a few minutes less than that, before we are in a position to see the ready-to-latch indications that will be the precursor to the start of the bolting of the Japanese cargo ship into place. Uh, once uh, HTV-4 is bolted into place and a uh, hard mate is uh, confirmed through what is called second stage capture, the uh, crew will take a break and then uh, later will begin uh, the outfitting of the uh, vestibule, the small passageway uh, between uh, the Harmony module and the HTV-4 hatch itself. That will involve uh, hooking up one power cable and one data cable uh, as an interim outfitting procedure for the remainder of the crew's workday today before they resume that work in the wee hours on Saturday that will lead to the opening of the hatch to the HTV at about 6.20 a.m. Central Time on Saturday morning. The opening of the hatch will enable the crew to begin unloading uh, the pressurized cargo in the racks uh, that are located inside HTV in which uh, some 4,100 pounds of dry cargo and uh, some 1,300 pounds of water are stored. There is external cargo also called unpressurized cargo housed uh, on what is called the exposed pallet that it resides in a slot on the side of the HTV which will be extracted uh, robotically by the uh, robotics officers here in Mission Control uh, as they will maneuver the uh, station's robotic arm into place uh, to extract uh, that exposed pallet uh, that houses two spare parts, um, a main bus switching unit, and, uh, and an, a utility uh, transfer assembly for one of the solar alpha rotary joints. Those spare parts uh, accompanied by a uh, suite of experiments for the Defense Department on a platform that will be affixed to the truss of the International Space Station. Late Sunday afternoon, the uh, station's robotic arm will extract uh, that exposed pallet, hand it off uh, to the uh, Japanese robotic arm at the end of the Kibo module, and that uh, exposed pallet will be affixed to the front porch uh, called the exposed facility on the front end of the Kibo module, where in the weeks ahead, uh, those uh, spare parts and experiment suite will be removed from the exposed pallet and uh, installed at various locations on the truss of the International Space Station. Station Houston on two for Chris for CBM. Eastern Station, Sagan on two, please. Okay, uh, this is for Chris. Uh, thanks for waiting. Maneuver to RTL is complete, so you are go for first stage capture on the Nodal 2 NADA CBM. And in step three, attitude control is still stable and the thrusters are still dis disabled. So with that um, call up from Takoya Onishi, in work. the spacecraft communicator here in Mission Control, Chris Cassidy, now will begin to send uh, commands from a laptop computer inside to begin the first stage of the bolting of the HTV-4 into place.
and a view of flight engineer Chris Cassidy as uh, he monitors uh, the final bolting of HTV-4 into place. We'll get the word shortly of second stage capture, which will mark uh, the formal uh, mating and the hard mating of uh, the Japanese cargo ship to the Harmony module. Houston Station on two. Um, just to be thorough, making sure uh, I'm starting in step 5.2.2, .2, correct? We are with you. Thanks for checking. That means, uh, okay, I'm picking up in 5.2.2. .2. You concur? We concur. We are moments away now from second stage capture, the second uh, set of bolts being driven. Houston, moving to step 5.3.2. We concur. Five point three point two complete move into five point four point two. Okay, hold on a second, we will be uplinking the temp template. Okay, copy. And Chris, you have a go. Understand. Uh, Capturing to 70 degrees. Here we go. Chris Cassidy uh, working uh, from a variety of laptop computers in tandem with the ground uh, controllers here in Houston to complete uh, the bolting of the HTV-4 cargo ship into place on the Harmony module. Complete through 70 degrees, ready for step 5.5.2.
Okay, you have a go. Okay. Complete through 40, I see the confirmation request was captured, so uh, I'm ready for 5.6.2 if you are. Copy, you are go. Here in Mission Control, the Mechanical Systems Officer confirms that we have second stage capture. Uh, as you can see, the position is uh, at 11 degrees, and I'm checking with you in step 5.7 for CBM latch stall recovery arm steps. Hey, Chris, uh, that is not required, so now you can go to step 6. Okay, copy that. I see that. If latch positions are 11 to 12, go to step 6. Roger. Thank you. Good copy. Second stage capture confirmed at 10.38 a.m. Central Time. Q4 uh, HTV not to decimal pressurization. Confirm that you want me up for decimal 1. You can perform up to and including step 4, decimal 3. Copy, four decimal three, thank you. Good copy. Some cleanup procedures are being called up by Luca Parmitano. HTV4 now bolted into place on the Harmony module of the International Space Station. Again, second stage capture, the formal mating of the Japanese cargo ship to the International Space Station completed at 10.38 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station flew 260 miles over the South Pacific Ocean.